sports has sort of fueled me, um, given me a reason to hope and, and believe in my own dreams because some of, the, some of the stories you hear, you can't write a better script. The script Jeff Hobbs is writing may be more inspirational than those of the athletes he admired growing up. He was born three months premature, weighing just two and a half pounds. From day one, the odds were against him. I was going to do everything I could to help him. My grand, I can't do this. <laughs> no. My mom is my biggest supporter and, and she's also my role model too because um, growing up in a single parent household, um, you know, ra she raised three kids. Um, she sacrificed her career to put me in a, a situation to be successful. Jeff was diagnosed with spastic cerebral palsy, a tightening of the muscles that affects his right arm and both legs. After two surgeries, his mobility improved, and as he got older, he wanted to participate in the sports he loved to watch, including football. As a freshman, he attended a two-day camp where everyone made the team. Everyone that goes out for football in my hometown does not get cut. Well, that's what I thought. When it was helmet handout day, that was probably the toughest day of my life. I was told that I couldn't receive them without a note from the doctor. And that was their nice way of saying, in my opinion, thanks, but no thanks. As I took one of his friends, too, and he came back with the helmet, and Jeff came with his head just hanging. It, it crushed him. It, it really hurt him. When people tell you that you, you can't achieve something, they're really questioning your heart. And, and for me, you can question a lot of things, but heart, you can't. You can't. And, and that's what it is. That's how I feel that when somebody told me I wasn't good enough, they're questioning my heart. It was kind of hard for me to be excited because I went ahead and you know, got my pads and helmet and all that. And he didn't. And I remember he was devastated. So I said, from this day forward, I'm going to control my own destiny. And that was by working out every day in hopes that the next year the football coach would see all the hard work. And maybe I was being a bit naive, but I, I thought he'd see me running the hallways and lifting every day and say, hey, we're going to put this guy on the team. The football coach continued to ignore the kid with the biggest heart, trying to prove his worth. But the cross-country coach recognized that Jeff Hobbs could change his team completely. Obviously, I knew what Jeff's handicaps were, but I also knew what he could bring to the table. Uh, I knew he was a hard worker. Uh, I know he was a leader. And, you know, when you're a coach, you can never have enough leadership on your team. And I knew he'd be an inspiration for the team as well. So uh, for me, it was a no-brainer. I mean, I welcomed him with open arms. My high school coach changed my life because in a lot of ways, and I get emotional about this, but he means a lot to me. Um, he was willing to to sort of not follow what everybody else did. This could have happened years ago where somebody could have included me. But because people followed the norm um, and didn't think outside the box, it didn't happen. And because he gave me the opportunity, I was willing to run through a wall for him. And he totally took it and spun it into something great. And you know, he met Coach Best, and Coach Best just gave him all the support he ever needed. And I mean, Jeff's heart is so big that no matter what he ever decides to do, like, he would excel at it. And when he crossed the finish line, he had blood on him. He fell. I'm like, I don't know if I made the right decision or not. And when he did cross that finish line and I saw the reactions from everyone else, I knew that was the right decision. Now the 34-year-old will compete in his biggest race ever the Chicago Marathon on October 12th. It's a dream he's waited many years to achieve. And this isn't just about a runner with cerebral palsy that's training for a marathon. This is about, we all get knocked down in life. We all have challenges, we all face obstacles, and we, you have to be resilient to pick yourself up because life is challenging and it is difficult. But there's not one person that doesn't face a challenge. And it's the ability to get back up and keep moving forward that makes a difference. Everything that we've worked so hard for, I don't want anything to happen to him, and I'm, and I'm concerned. But I also know how determined he is, and I can't wait to see him cross that finish line.
He's always told me that I motivated him, but quite honestly, I got an awful lot from him being around me. I'll be so very proud of him, you know, it, when he does finish. I could tell that fire was back in his eyes, like it was in college and high school. I could tell that he really wanted to do this. And when you get something in his head, you can't. He's like Michael Jordan. Talking about it right now it gives me goosebumps. That's, that's all I think about. It's all. It's just going to be so great for him when this is all done. Be awesome. You are good enough and you can persevere, but it comes down to you and your attitude. And that's really what, what I want to do is I, I just want to inspire people to be better and, and to believe in themselves.